three. Lisa Bianconi has been teaching music for nearly 30 years at the Kern Hatton School in Westminster, Vermont. Here, children from across the Northeast who've had trouble at home and in school are sent for a fresh start. They're kids that have been abused and neglected. They come in here really angry, and the first thing they don't want to do is music. I came here with an attitude with a, no, I don't, I don't want to be here. An orphan from Ethiopia, 12-year-old Emma Beth Stott was adopted by an American family, but says she never fit in. I was so beaten down and like so insecure about myself, I didn't know if I should open up. That's when Ms. Bancone, she talked to me. She felt like the mother I never had. You never give up? No, no, never, 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 never give up. These kids have all been given up in a lot of different areas of life. I feel my role as a teacher here is to come in every day like it's the first day, positive energy, give these kids 100%. All 102 students here are required to take two hours of music a day, join the choir, and play at least one instrument. Bianconi believes music gives them an emotional connection and a sense of accomplishment. I love my backpack up at school. Honor roll student Crystal Lounge was failing in public school when she got here. I was considered different, I guess, and I just didn't understand. And I was just kind of angry at the world, like, why do people treat me this way? The 13-year-old says she was bullied because her parents are deaf. Bianconi helped her find the voice no one else could hear. At home I would just sing and no one could hear me. And she heard you? She could hear me. Despite knowing what she's done for them, the students were amazed that their music teacher was nominated for a Grammy Award. There's never going to be something big enough to repay her for what she does even just a Grammy, that she's just bigger than that. A winner already for helping thousands of students find their rhythm in class and in life. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Westminster, Vermont.